Hey guys, it's Haley Family here, and we're gonna do our top five glamping items. Brian, what are you doing? Putting water in the ice machine. Let's go make a video. All right, guys, let's face it. I did not grow up dead camping, so when Brian said, hey, let's become a camping family, I got nervous, right? <laughs> okay, so we are what you call glampers, and we are weekend warriors. So we go out, we have fun, but we still have a home to go into. And today we want to tell you about our favorite things that are not necessities, but things that we mm -hmm. found that make our lives camping easier. Uh, number five is Betty's. If you've never heard of Betty's before, this will change your life. And I wish they were cheaper, because I would have them on every bed that I own, except for they're expensive. So, <laughs> they but, are awesome. They're very cool. It's, it's really awesome. So what Betty's is, is it's zipper bedding. And it's it's more than like a twin bed. So we have it on our, our bed, which is a little bit bigger than a full size bed, but not quite a queen size bed in the camper. So when you go to order a Betty's, make sure you measure your mattress, especially in an RV, because they're not always standard size mattresses. But what it does is it is, it is like a fitted sheet. It goes on like a fitted sheet. It is your bed sheet, it is your blanket, it is your comforter, it is everything all in one, and it zips closed. So making your bed is so simple. I don't make our bed at home because I don't have time. <laughs> I get out of, I jump out of bed and it, it just, we just roll. So when we're camping, we can at least zip everything together and it looks pretty, especially when you have people in and out of your camper, so. It's like a super sleeping bag. It is, it's like a sleeping bag. And like the side kind of comes out. So you zip it um, open and when you open it, it's like this little sheet comes out. And we got the minky lined one, so mm -hmm. it's super cozy. It's nice. <laughs> so our number four is Roku or smart TVs. And the reason why these are so nice you can make your phone a hotspot, mm -hmm. rainy day outside, the kids got something to do, and they're just so darn convenient. Yes. They're so nice, and you can watch YouTube on them. It's awesome, <laughs> yes. it's awesome. So I don't know about you guys, but we're a family, so at the end of the night, we like to kind of wind down a little bit together as a family, and if we can't do that out by the campfire, this is a quick and easy way for us to do that together. Mm -hmm. So, and you can access all your apps. You can do mm -hmm. Hulu, Netflix, YouTube, whatever. So, all right, number three. Ooh, this is my favorite, which is the electric <laughs> skillet. We've shown this in a couple times in different videos. The electric skillet is really nice because again, I didn't grow up tent camping, so we don't maintain a fire the entire time we're gone. So uh, having the electric skillet to cook up bacon or mm -hmm. brown some hamburger meat or cook some eggs or whatever, the electric skillet, we have used it for everything. And it's quick and easy and it doesn't mm -hmm. take a whole lot of it doesn't take a campfire to maintenance it, and it doesn't take a whole lot of electricity. Mm -hmm. And you can plug it in right outside if you got an electric outlet. Absolutely. It's it's nice, because you awesome. can cook outside too, so it, it, it's a win-win. Yeah. <laughs> and then the other one is our electric kettle. Oh yes, oh. the electric kettle for making coffee. In the morning. <laughs> or tea, or you, whatever. You walk by in the morning, you hit the button, it's already full of water. You go to your bathroom, brush your teeth, do whatever. By the time you come back, you got hot boiling water. You can make coffee, tea, whatever. Noodles, it's if you awesome. want to boil mac and cheese or whatever for lunch for the kids. And you don't have to use your microwave to heat up water mm -hmm. or your propane. Yes, So um, very both, quick. Both number three and number two, the electric skillet and the electric kettle are nice because you don't have to use your propane. Yes. All right, number one, Our this number is yours. Number one, <laughs> this is the best thing ever, an ice maker. Oh, an ice maker. And the reason this ice maker is so awesome, it makes ice, starts making ice in seven minutes. So, you park your rig, get everything set up, you turn on the ice maker. That's the first thing you do. <laughs> you, put the, you put the truck in park and you go start the ice maker. Get your electric hooked up, start the <laughs> ice maker, get everything else settled. By the time you're done, you got enough ice to have a couple drinks with and chill and relax. Yes. And the other awesome thing is, if you let this thing run all day and collect your ice, it makes 20, 28 pounds of ice a day. Yeah. So. How much water is that? Like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I mean, like when we went out to South Dakota, we fill it, we filled it up, and it it kept us good with ice. Yeah, we'd fill it up in the morning, collect the ice, and then fill it up while while we're sitting there making dinner. We'd have two big bags of ice. So, you go and buy ice at the campgrounds, five seven dollars a piece. Yeah. You need a bag of ice a day. This thing pays for itself in no time. It's a little over hundred bucks. Totally worth it. 
the best thing hands down awesome the other nice thing about it is and brian doesn't really necessarily realize this because he doesn't pack our food but it frees up our freezer mm -hmm. space so when we went out to south dakota we were able to go the entire 17 days without going to the grocery store the only thing we had to get was we needed to get more milk and we needed to get more bread mm -hmm. the entire time we were gone and mm -hmm. you can just get you can pop into the general store at the campsites and get those things or gas station or whatever mm -hmm. so um it frees up the freezer space and you can have all that frozen meat in there and just pull out whatever you need it's not taking up a bunch of space with ice so what is like the the bonus one the one that you can't use everywhere but if you could it would be awesome hot tub yes! <laughs> <laughs> so we got an inflatable hot tub that was our pandemic <laughs> panic <for trips. laughs> so we figured we wouldn't be doing a whole lot of camping this summer because of all of the stuff going on um, right now so we decided to get an inflatable hot tub for our deck at home now you can take the inflatable hot tub we have friends that do it they mm -hmm. take it camping with them so you want to just definitely make sure you ask at the camp store or where you re where you register before using that because it does use quite a bit of water I mean, there's nothing better than popping up your inflatable redneck hot tub out there drinking a couple <laughs> beers and you're camping neighbors walk by I mean, it's absolutely like, yeah. absolutely so that has been a great bonus purchase and we've mm -hmm. used it nearly every day since we got it and so uh, that's our what top five and then the bonus yeah. and then i have one item that makes my life so so much better yeah and it's the anderson blocks if you've got a travel trailer or a fifth wheel these things save you so much time. They really do. And, and I mean, once you use them, you'll never go back. They're so convenient. Yeah, uh, we have with little kids and our rule is they have to stay buckled until we are done parking the camper and it has cut down our time probably 15 minutes. Yes, yes, it is so nice. Yeah, and there's not too many places you go where it's level flights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's our, uh, our top uh, five with a bonus and then a must have. Uh, but if you think of anything else, put it in the comments below. We want to hear what your uh, glamping items are. I mean, these aren't necessities. You don't no. need them, but man, they're awesome. Man, they make our experiences so much better. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> so. Well, we're going to keep uh, doing adventures and things, and we're, hopefully we'll be able to get out soon. Yeah. Uh, but in the meantime, you should try and get out and uh, make your own memories. All right, stay safe. How are you doing? That, that video was seven minutes. We got all this ice. Let's make some drinks. 